what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And now to make it really feel like Friday, we are back with the nationally syndicated film critic Ryan J. Mm -hmm. Because it's not a Friday without this guy. No, it's not. Wait, so what happens on a day if I'm not here and it's Friday? Do you it's just, not Friday. It's not Friday. We just no. don't have a show. Yeah, we cancel it. We cancel it. I am so humbled by that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, of course. That's power. Yeah. I love how the way you put that plaid with those stripes. Thank you. You know, I'm mixing and matching. Love yeah. it. Keep it fresh. Love Looks what you do. Nice. Good. Let's mm -hmm. talk about Thor. This is a movie uh, that you did the movie club la this past week or this week. My daughter saw it, you know, uh, before all of her friends loved it. Good. Yeah, I loved it too. I mean, this is the third Thor standalone movie, Thor Ragnarok and it fits beautifully into the cinematic universe that Marvel has going on. It's the silliest and the funniest of all the Marvel movies, oh. even more so than like Guardians of the Galaxy. And I like Thor's new do. Oh. He gets a cut. Okay, okay. good. And it's really fun Not in the that. movie. Is it that? Um, no, that's how he normally that's looks the with the long, long hair. Right? Yeah, okay. but he gets a new do. He gets oh. a short haircut, and it's really cool in the movie how they show how he gets the haircut. So oh, that's he's neat. the same. Are there new people in this one? Is there is new. We get Thor's sister, who is the goddess of death. Mm. Her name is Hela. She's played by Kate Blanchett. So as funny and silly as the movie is, and entertaining and comedic, it's actually really well balanced with that wickedness and drama. Because Kate Blanchett is such a scene stealer. Yeah, Ooh, I, I love that. it. So it's not too funny. Not too funny. She's really good. The okay. one really awkward casting in this though is Jeff Goldblum. I have to just say, I don't oh. care how much lipstick and nail polish you put on the man, he's still just <laughs> Jeff Goldblum, and he sticks out like a sore thumb, and he cannot act. Okay. Oh. Would you see this in 3D? Yeah, the 3D was great. The action is amazing. It like sucks you into it. You sort of lose yourself in this movie. I, like I found a myself, video game. Yeah, I was like smiling at the screen. It's so fun. I love the whole bromance is that between. Hella? That's Hella. She's so cool. I love the bromance between the Hulk and Thor, and you've got Loki in there really well too. And um, it's just fun. Talk about the Marvel versus DC thing, and, and, and there's are there any Marvel scenes that you really? Well, love? I love the, I love it. This is a Marvel movie. There's the short haircut on mm. Thor, Ooh, but nice. um, it's cool because DC is really stepping up their game in terms of competing with superhero movies, and I feel like this is the first Marvel movie where they took a little, you know, nod to or took something from DC. You know, we get that great theme music with Wonder Woman. There's a moment in slow motion with Thor coming down in an action scene, and music kicks in. It's very reminiscent of the Wonder Woman climax moment. So I thought that was interesting. But you got to remember, this is a see it. And you got to remember to stay through the credits because oh. as with all Marvel movies, there are extra credit scenes. There's two of them here, and it's great. Great Love movie. Love it. That's what exciting. One of my favorite movies of the year. Okay. Oh, nice. You Good. have a giveaway? I do. Associated with Marvel and Disney sent me two vinyl pops. We've got Hela and Loki here, so it's oh, Tom cute. Hiddleston and Kate Blanchett. You can enter to win these this pair at my website, ryanjreviews.com. Ryanjreviews.com. Okay, A Bad Mom's Christmas. You didn't like the first Bad I Moms, I didn't dislike did you? it. I said rent it. And yeah. Bad Moms last year I thought was kind of fun. What worked about that movie? Movie, though was there was romance and there was camaraderie between these women who were like feeling like they were failing as mothers because they're trying to do it all and being perfectionist and yet they just couldn't balance it all so it was very real this movie shafts all those things in terms of camaraderie yeah that worked <laughs> in the last one replacing it more for mother daughter drama because oh. their mothers come in we've got Susan Sarandon yes. Christine Baranski oh, yeah. Cheryl Hines all really great casting but they're very underused and I'm really disappointed because it's just a lot of missed op opportunities and no matter how many four letter words you drop here that's just not funny anymore or the yeah. situations aren't that funny it's so too easy it's easy humor and we don't find that good right yeah. I didn't laugh once the situations are not mm. relatable and all the drama between the mothers and daughters, I, I just, it's very superficial. Skip it. It doesn't it go, I'd say stream it. Okay. And stream maybe it. that's why it's coming so out popular. now. It's early. Yeah, I think this will be available to stream around Christmas time. So okay. wait till then. The right. Killing of a Sacred Deer, rated R. Nicole Kidman, your girl, is in she's this. She's my girl, and she's exquisite in this, as she always is. Yes, let's be honest. True, right? Uh, this is written, directed by Yorgos Lanthimos, who did The Lobster, starring Colin Farrell. He's back in this movie now with Nicole Kidman. He's known for doing these sort of disturbing, interesting movies, and this is much darker and much more dry than even the last one. Things happen in this movie to this family that is so upsetting and so weird, and it's purposefully giving, going to leave you with questions. Hmm. And that's 
on purpose, and that's how the movie is supposed to be. I recommend seeing it with friends. I saw this with our friend, okay. our mutual friend Tina, and you could talk about this for days and wonder about it. I'd say see it. It's brilliant. It's challenging. If you don't mind challenging yourself at a movie and being patient, this is a brilliant film. But All if right. you can't challenge yourself, stay home. <laughs> uh, movie club? Exactly. Yes, we've got the new one Tuesday, November 7th of Daddy's Home 2, another Christmas movie. Daddy's Home. 7.30 p.m. Enter at my website if you want reserve seats at that one. All right, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, too. You can still like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and for his full movie reviews, check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com. Good stuff. Thanks. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.